Hello, this is Martin Brossman, KI4CFS, and I'm excited because yesterday I was able to get my Icon ID51A hooked up to DSTAR using, let me get it here, this little guy, the OpenSpot 2. I have it connected to a little battery pack so I can carry it with me, and then also connected using the hotspot on my iPhone as the uh, the um, web access. So basically what it lets me do is be able to take this radio that does 440 and 2 meter and D star and then lets me connect it also through this device to the D star network over the internet. So excited uh, that I got help from a great ham in 8LN and also hams in my area as well that I couldn't list enough of them. But what I want to talk about is within one day, I was able to talk on my icon to someone in England and New Zealand just almost immediately connecting through this system. I'm very excited about it and I'm building a document below to map out the process of getting an ICOM ID51 or 5100 connected to DSTAR through the OpenSpot 2. Please look in the text area for the document. And what I ask is use it, find it useful, and give something to it. I'd like to map out the process, and I thought it'd be fun to get multiple hams input on it to be able to add to it and contribute of what's the best steps because I couldn't find anything specific to this radio working with this device to get on I, uh, D-Star and I wanted to give back as I'm learning. So check out the document. It's a Google Doc in the text area. If you have something to add, let me know and I'll add it to it as another option or the steps as well as anything you think I missed in it. Thanks very much. This is KI4 CFS Clear and look forward to talking to you on D-Star. I love it. I have to say, I absolutely love these radios. It's solid as a rock. I feel great in my hand. It's just a great radio and I'm so excited about the 5100 to get it set up next for the car for when I'm on the road. Have a great day. Take care.